So sadly, yesterday, we weren't able to build off our victory against the Dallas Cowboys last Sunday, which I was hoping we would, but unfortunately, we just didn't have we just didn't have it last night. The offense struggled, the defense struggled, which led to us losing by 10 points at home to the Tennessee Titans. And so now, for us to make the playoffs, we pretty much have to win the, the rest of our games. Um, we almost had to do that anyways besides this game. Um, but now for sure, to most likely do that, we need to win the rest of our games, which seems very unlikely considering how inconsistent the Packers have been. I was hoping maybe last week was like the, the the confidence booster the Packers needed, beating the Cowboys at home in overtime. And I really thought that yesterday we would come in hot and win that game, but we weren't able to. And so now we're 4-7, and seven, facing off against the Eagles next week, a very, very good team at in Philadelphia, which will obviously make it tougher. And so it's a tough situation right now for the Packers. But I want to go over a few different quotes that Aaron Rodgers had to say discussing last night's game. In the fourth quarter, there were definitely some moments the Packers had an opportunity to potentially get the game closer. The Packers' defense had a few nice stops in the fourth quarter. But unfortunately, on three of the four drives, the Packers did not get a first down. Um, Part of that had to do with some poor passes from Rodgers. He missed Sammy Watkins wide open. He missed Alan Lazard wide open. And he just wasn't quite on target in the fourth quarter. So I want to read some of these quotes from Rodgers. And these are from a uh, Rob Domofsky ESPN article. So where I've got them from. He said this regarding his poor passes. He said this, I couldn't tell you or point to one thing, Rodgers said. I'm not going to make excuses about my thumb. It's been the same since he heard it against the New York Giants. I don't know. I've got to go back and look at it. So he was off. He doesn't quite know why. I do wonder about the thumb. Does that affect him at all? Who knows? He played well last week with it this week. Um, Not quite as good, especially in the fourth quarter. And he said this, I felt like fundamentally I was in a good spot. I just didn't have the same type of consistent grip and ball coming out the same way. I threw a lot of kind of wobblers tonight. There was some wind, just missed a few throws I should have had. Definitely the one to Sammy and the one to Allen. If we play up to our potential, we can win our last six games, Rodgers said. I'm confident in that. Obviously, I've got to play up to my potential. Tonight wasn't it. So Rodgers partly takes the blame blame on himself, saying that the ball didn't come out how it did last week. Um, he definitely missed some throws, and he needs to play up to his his potential. And he notes that if the, if the entire team plays up to their potential, they can win the rest of the games. Which I think when we see um, you know last week's game, they sort of showed us that they have the ability. The question is, can we get it all clicking consistently game after game? And from yesterday's performance, the answer was no. So. Um, Technically, you know, everything could click and we could win the rest of our games. But from what we've seen, ah, it's, it's going to be tough. And the Packers could end this season not making the playoffs, which if you had to bet right now, probably seems more likely. But Rodgers finishes it off here saying, I think last week showed us a lot. The possibilities. Yeah, possibilities. Rodgers said referring to the Cowboys game. This week, we just didn't play as complimentary in all three phases. You've got to be excited about the way Christians played the last two weeks. Cobby coming back today, I think lettuce and receiving yards, that was a big jolt for us. That is the the one great thing to take away is Christian Watson, back-to-back games, elite play from Christian Watson, five touchdowns in two weeks and two games in the span of like five, six days, um, goes from being relatively, you know, talked about quietly, just among Packers fans when it came to his injuries, all that stuff, and then out of nowhere... He's healthy. Romeo Dobbs is not healthy. Christian Watson, three touchdowns last game, two touchdowns this game. So if anything, the one thing that we can, I guess, sort of, you know, look to right now is the fact that Christian Watson looks like he can be a elite wide receiver in the NFL. So at least we have something to build on going forward in the future in the next couple of years because we have um, had some inconsistent play at wide receiver and Christian Watson looks like from how he's played the past couple of weeks that the sky is the limit for Christian Watson, which is obviously great. Um... But unfortunately, the Packers are sitting where they are right now at 4-7. and seven. The defense just has played poorly, um, especially yesterday. The way that, I mean, we held Derrick Henry somewhat in check, which I feel like was a big key. But when you hold Derrick Henry in check, but you allow Ryan Tannehill to throw for over 300 yards, you could just see inconsistency in the secondary. Um, Joe Barry playing lots of soft coverage. Couldn't scheme up things to stop them. Some miscommunication on the back end. And I think the overall consensus is like, I mean, this defense, it seemed like we had tons of potential this season, but unfortunately, we haven't quite lived up to it, um, and we allowed Ryan Tannehill to pick us apart. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. Go over Rodgers' comments from uh, yesterday's game. Um, hopefully, there's some some more positives coming out in the future, but we will see. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.